Remember when you were a child and your mother said, Darling, you eat so much you must have a tapeworm. Well, I know a fellow who actually had one. This fellow, let's just call him Vern, was very fond of sushi. Mm -hmm. But he couldn't afford to eat at a reputable sushi bar, so he decided to make his own. One day he was cutting up a nice fresh piece of sockeye and noticed a number of small white cysts in the belly meat. Mm -hmm. He was in the habit of sampling his preparations and had already enjoyed several mouth-watering morsels when he sliced open one of the cysts and much to his surprise, it started to squirm. Whoa! He figured his digestive system would take care of whatever it was and after a fashion, it did. He forgot all about it until a few months later when feeling anemic, constipated, and losing weight, he consumed half a bottle of bourbon, went to the throne, and discovered a meter-long writhing section of... Well, it wasn't linguine. It was Diphylobotham latum, the fish tapeworm. The fish tapeworm is the most common form of tapeworm found in North American intestinal tracts. There are less common forms, generally picked up in developing countries, that live in pork and beef. Thorough cooking or deep freezing kills them all. Tapeworms can live inside their hosts for many years. They just slither around in the gut, waiting for dinner. They feed in the nutrients of the host's food as it enters the bloodstream. It is not to their advantage to kill their host. That would mean the end of their free ride. Some of them can grow to four or five meters in length. An interesting fact about the tapeworm is that it is a hermaphrodite. That is both male and female at the same time. This is helpful when you might go for years in solitary confinement, so to speak. They can produce eggs all by themselves. If you don't want to become the proud owner of one of these unusual pets, avoid eating undercooked flesh, especially in developing countries. High-class sushi restaurants are generally safe. A good sushi chef knows how to prepare fish safely. If you think you have a tapeworm, don't freak out. The treatment is just a few pills for a few days with no side effects. Did you hear the one about the cannibal that passed his friend in a public lavatory?